My understanding is this. There were five of you in the room, President Trump, Mark Meadows, both of you, and General Milley. Is that correct, uh, Mr. Secretary? Yeah, that's exactly correct, Sean. Hey, first off, if, if you don't mind, thanks for taking this on. I can't help but think 78 years ago tonight, if we were alive, uh, Cash and I would have been on the front lines. You would have been there along with Edward R. Murrow and Walter Cronkite uh, taking back Europe from the Nazis. And uh, this is our front line now. So thanks for taking this on and, and being serious about it. There hasn't been enough serious conversation. And this is an exclusive. First time Cash and I have been on together because we've been separated uh, to make sure there was an appearance of collusion or anything like that. So thanks for taking this on. So, so the four of you that I've had an opportunity to interview now confirm that on January 4th in the Oval Office that you heard Donald Trump authorize up to 20,000 troops, Cash Patel, uh, two days before January 6th even happened. Tell us about that meeting. Yeah, it's not one of those, thanks again, Sean, like Chris said, for having us, especially on D-Day, to talk about this serious matter. It's not one of those meetings you forget. The Secretary of Defense, Chris Miller, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Mark Milley, the Chief of Staff to the President of the United States of America, Mark Meadows, and the President of the United States himself in the Oval Office talking about some of the most serious national security threats we were facing. And then we pivoted to setting up for January 6th, and Mr. Trump unequivocally authorized up to 20,000 National Guards men and women for us to utilize should the second part of the law, the request, come in. But those requests never did, as you highlighted. Look, let, me, let me be very clear. Both of you said this under oath, under the threat of a penalty of perjury? To the committee? Oh, absolutely, Sean. And to be clear, yeah. Cash brought it up best. The meeting was uh, one of it was one of the serious kind of heavy meetings I've been in, and it was about a foreign threat that was directed towards the United States, which obviously we can't talk to for about for fear of you know ended up in jail. And uh, so I want to I, I kind of want to like be clear. The president, as we're leaving. It says, hey, one more thing, and we all sat back down and we discussed what was going on in January 6th. I don't want to, because I think that's important to bring up so that uh, the opposition doesn't get this idea that this was the purpose of the meeting. The president was doing exactly what I expect the commander in chief to do, any commander in chief to do. He was looking at the broad threats against the United States, and he brought this up as on his own. We did not bring it up. All right.